The opposition leader, Anthony Albanese, his speech today, the Prime Minister uh, uh, in uh, in hope, I guess, at the moment, his speech, he gave gave a solid speech, I guess. You, you were a bit critical earlier. His q and I asked him about the China relationship. What did you make of that response? Yes, well, I think what we've seen today from Anthony Albanese, Kieran, is that we are going to have the biggest small target campaign from an opposition in Australia since John Howard in 1996. John Howard was ultimately successful, of course. But if you think about Kevin Rudd, the last Labor Prime Minister to wrest power off the coalition, he went with a, a promise to rip up work choices. He went. He said he was going to sign Kyoto. He said that he was going to do the apology and he pledged $50 billion for the NBN. So there's nothing approaching that. Uh, indeed, he set up Infrastructure Australia and Albanese was Minister. There's nothing approaching that so far from Anthony Albanese. He says he's in the last quarter. We'll get to his policy claims in a minute. First, let's hear how he's going to try to strike a different tone with China. We see a lot of attack of Ch the Chinese government from Scott Morrison. We know that's popular with Australians. Kieran uh, putting the heat on Albanese on the issue here and him suggesting he's going to go another way. Mr Albanese, as you know, it's been a rocky a few years, to say the least, when it comes to relations with China. If you win government, do you believe there can be a reset in relations with Beijing? And what would be the first thing you would do in office? Would you send the foreign minister to Beijing, for example? Well, I think uh, the starting point is that whoever's in government, it will be a difficult relationship. It will be difficult because the posture of China has changed. It is China that has changed, not Australia that has changed. And uh, that needs to be acknowledged and we need to adjust accordingly. Uh, China's more forward-leaning uh, in, uh, in the region and that requires a, an adjustment in our approach. Uh, so I don't, uh, I, I don't blame uh, the government and never have. And let's hear what he had to say about some other things, a bit of a message of hope. We've got to look to, to get out of COVID. He's saying, well, Scott Morrison's been saying government's got to get out of people's lives. He says they can steer the wheel and steal a course. Australia needs good government now more than ever. A country and a people as extraordinary as ours deserve a government to match. A government of competence and a government of integrity. A government that doesn't get out of the way, but helps to create the way. A real government is the steering wheel of a nation, not just a bumper sticker. One day, the COVID-19 pandemic will be written about in the past tense, and we all hope that that day is very soon. By then I know that, as Australians, we will have done so much more than get back on our feet. Beyond the recovery, I see renewal and I see rejuvenation. I see an Australia rebuilding on the foundation of its people's greatest strengths and best qualities. An Australia that is worthy of our people and their potential. An Australia where no one is held back and no one is left behind. Well, Anthony Albanese says he has got policy and he quotes Monty Python in, in trying to confirm that. We have announced you know, it's a bit like, um, you know, the, the Monty Python sketch, you know, what have the Romans ever done for us? People say, where's your policy? Well, apart from, this is since December, an expanded MBN, a climate policy that is comprehensive and fully costed, 465,000 free TAFE places, 20,000 university places in additional, a policy of 500 new community workers to deal with domestic violence, so it's that old skip, what have the Romans done for us? Well, he's not promising us new sewage or sanitation or wine or whatever else, but I thought it was worth showing the skit. And what have they ever given us in return? The aqueduct? What? The aqueduct? Oh, yeah, yeah, they did give us that. Uh, that's true, yeah. And the sanitation. Oh, yeah, the sanitation, Reg. Remember what the city used to be like? Yeah, all right, I'll grant you the aqueduct and the sanitation are two things the Romans have done. And the roads. Well, yeah, obviously yeah. the roads. I mean, the roads go without sand, don't they? Love, a good excuse to play a bit of Monty Python. Andrew, brilliant. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for that.